And they've done they've done illustrations like in these styles, like for Naruto. That's kind of weird that it looks like fucking uh, Keanu. They all do look a little weird. She looks very weird. But he, uh, yeah, Naruto looked kind of cool. It was like a, a soldier. Well, I mean, they are soldiers. That's 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 what they are. That's 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 the tragedy. All right. Next up, get the hell out. A horror comedy short by uh, Comedia A Go Go. This is uh, also first time coming into contact with these guys. Uh, this is a night of first so far. Um, yeah, so let me give them a sub and a like. And a... Yes. Before we go in there, all right, this job is not for the faint of heart, the easily frightened, or the narrow-minded. Yeah, yeah, I worked at a psych ward for like years, so I'm good to go. Okay, now you've assured us you're what happened to, to the other guy? Whatever it takes. What yeah, happened yeah, to him? As long as it's nothing illegal, as long as it's nothing sexual, count me in. Did we say it was anything sexual? No. No, no, what did we say? You said you guys perform exorcisms for money. Do you want it to get sexual? What? Yes. What? Yes, that's the easiest way to put it. We perform exorcisms for money. Now, your job is the bag man. You carry the supplies, you set things up, and you're there for backup just in case anything bad happens. Now, or dude has got a solid black eye. eye. What happened? The person's body. One, you kill the person. You kill the person, you kill the soul, you get rid of the evil. Or two, you do what we do. You expel the evil through physical force. All right, now, if you notice the trauma on his face, he's what's called the conduit. I conjure the evil from our client into his body, and then I expel it through physical force, leaving our client completely harm-free. So you beat it out of him? I do whatever it takes. Sometimes it takes a little bit more force than others. Oh, sometimes it takes more force than others? Yeah, like in Atlanta? Look, Atlanta was not my fault. Yeah, tell that to the children that I'm never going to have again. Apparently, this demon only possessed my junk. Here, what's with this? Uh, no thanks. Now, listen. This is your first go-around, so you just sit back, don't say a word, just watch, all right? This client doesn't really pose much of a threat. Now, obviously, they're Catholic, we have to be Catholic, okay? So, hold on to these. So it doesn't matter that I'm not Catholic? No, neither are we. You sure you're ready for this? Sure. All right. This is going to be good. Good evening. The Archdiocese of San Juan sent us here to help you with your daughter. This way. Now, were you able to secure your daughter like we had asked you to? Yeah. It was uh, it's pretty hard to keep her down, but we were able to strap her in. Yeah, she's in there. Everything is going to be okay. Our, our congregation donated uh, to help Christine. No, ma'am, that won't be necessary. Now, let me ask you a question. Before all of this happened, did something upset your daughter a great deal? More than she's ever been angered before? Yes. She'd been telling us lately that she'd been bullied at school. She was angry that we hadn't done anything about it. How'd you know? Well, for something like this to happen, it takes the combination of a very angered person and an evil spirit hanging <coughs> around. All of that negativity inside of her allowed the demon to possess her soul. We told her we that, that, that we would talk to the principal about it, but... You know, you just didn't did have time. Nothing. It's okay. It's it's not your fault. Now, 
Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get your daughter back? Yes. Yes. We'll do whatever it takes. Now, you, the family, are absolutely necessary for this process to work. The family of the possessed individual must create a spiritual link and recite scripture to expunge the demon. Now, it is absolutely vital that you do not break this link. You do not stop reading the scripture. Now, you will hear things, violence and commotion coming from that room, but you must stay inside this room at all times. Do you understand? Someone will come and tell you when to start reading, but we're going to begin the process now. <coughs> we offered you the mantle, man. I don't know why you didn't take it. Okay, nice. They cleared out the room. Yeah, are we ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be needing these. Let's see. Okay, new guy. This is what's going to happen. Five things, okay? One, he's going to go lay down next to her, okay? Then two, I'm going to get him very angry. Once I get him angry, three, the demon can transfer from her body into him. Got that so far? Yeah, but is she going to be okay? I mean, is this normal? Yeah, 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 this is fine. Once it transfers, she'll pass right out. She won't remember any of this. All right, so how do you get him angry? Oh, that's kind of the fun part. Um, I don't know, sometimes I insults, personal jabs. Heck, sometimes talking about sports actually works. That's when I'll have to do four. That's it. I expel the demon out of him using physical force. Now, sometimes it can get a little out of hand, so I may ask for, like, the bat. Or... Don't use the bat. Look, if I need the bat, give me the bat. You're not going to need the bat, so you're not going to use the bat. You never know what's going to happen. If I ask for the bat, give me the bat. Please don't use the bat. If he asks for the bat, don't give him the bat. Whatever. <laughs> All right, well, what's the fifth thing? Don't give him the bat. Fifth thing is, you hold the jar out in front of you like this. Why? You can't hold the jar? Oh, yeah, I can hold the jar, but I mean... Then you just hold the jar. Yeah, you just hold the jar out in front of you like this, and you don't move it. Got it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, don't right. move the jar. Can you do that? Is that hard for you? Yeah, I can hold the jar. Yeah, I can hold the jar in front of you like that, and don't move the jar. Yeah, I can, I can hold the jar, don't move the jar, no problem. Cool. Got it. Right, got it. Hey, can you do me a favor real quick? Yeah, what's up? Can you not move the jar? I'm not going to move the damn jar. All right, go tell him to start reading the scripture. Five months in the inside jar. Yeah. Joe, I'll move the jar as first. I know he's dead now, so... Hey. They reading the scripture? Yeah, they're reading the, um... The... Are you good? The what have you, or whatever. So, uh, what happens when they don't read? Nothing happens if they stop reading. We just tell them to read the scripture to make it feel like they're contributing. We just want to make sure that they stay out of our business. Well, uh, looks like this should be a quick night, huh? Uh, demon possessed a little girl, so it's going to be too tough. And your point is? My point is you could probably go a little easy on them. Hey, look, when you're possessed, you never know what's going to happen. So how about this? Uh, just take it easy on my face. Don't even hit my face. I won't hit you in the face. Go for the body. I'll start with the body. Start and end with my body. I don't think you need to hit my face to expel this demon. Body should be good enough. I promise. I promise I'll start with the body this time. And one more thing. Small favor. Please don't use the bat. I will not use the bat. It's the first thing he's going to go for. <laughs> Perfect. I've been saving this one. This is perfect for new guy. Okay, so remember how I always told you that I'm pretty sure that your sister had a thing for me? This again? Dude, okay, she's happily married. She doesn't have a crush on you. Okay, yeah, but remember last year at your birthday when you got like really drunk and you passed out in your brother-in-law's living room? Yeah, I remember. You were aching for bacon on my forehead. It didn't come out for like two weeks. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. Okay, so while you and your brother-in-law were passed out, I sort of had sex with your sister in your niece's bedroom. I call BS. Lies don't work. It doesn't count. I'm not angry. Well, all I gotta say is four words. Inner thigh birthmark. <sighs> my sister! That's my baby sister! How could you? How much she gives you those 
sister hot? That's what she's thinking too? Oh man. I don't get it. Is your sister hot or something? And so are you, man. You don't even know her. You don't know me like that. I'm just following his lead, man. I'm just doing my job. Okay, okay. Mouth guard. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Bing. Mouth guard. Oh, come on, Charles. Come on. Come on. Let her go. Let her go. go. I prefer to not die. The boy. Come on. I fall off I eat dog. Eat up up and Let her go. Let her go. Knock off look I Look Let her go. Look I have to eat dog. 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 Eat uh oh. <laughs> Dude, it's the biggest. He's like, oh yeah. Time to get some anger fucking issues out. It's okay. It's okay. It started with the fish. Not against flesh and blood, mm. against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Uh oh, looks like someone's not going down. Give me the bat. Man, he's had enough. Just give me the bat. He said I'd give you the bat. Give me the goddamn bat. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's had enough, poor guy. What's going on in there? No, no. We have to stay here. Okay. We're okay. almost done. Get the jar. Dude, bring it in. Bring it here. Come on. Right here. Hold the jar. Don't move. No, 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 no. There it is. There it is. It could take half of a day. Your daughter's exhausted right now. But the good thing is, is that the demon is completely gone. <sighs> we can't thank you enough for helping us. We'll make sure to tell Father Richmond that you saved our daughter. Please. We insist. Thank you. We'll take it. Thanks. Oh, God. Is he going to be okay? He'll be fine. What matters is Mommy. That... Mommy. Baby. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Happy family. You're welcome. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh. Come on. All right, we're going to be careful with it. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Good job. Cool. I need to go to the doctor, dude. Wait, what is this? This isn't what we agreed on. I mean, after everything we've been through, what is this? Look, that's just bonus, okay? The real money comes later for our discretion. Oh, what God. discretion? What are you talking about? I need a doctor's Look, we perform these for every religion. Oh, jeez. Jews, Protestants, Catholics. The last oh, thing God. that the heads of those religions want you to know is that there's no one way to heaven or hell or whatever you want to call it. Of that? And that they're all right and wrong at the same time. So they pay us to keep quiet. Because the real truth is, is that this evil exists. And there aren't many people out there who can get rid of it. Uh, did you even hit my body? It feels like you only hit my face. The Catholics were priests. Uh, the Jews were rabbis, you know, you get it. I mean, it makes everyone feel safer with us being in their house and much more willing to uh, donate to our cause. Look, look, the church is happy, the families are happy, and more importantly, we're happy, right? Yay, us. Oh, Why do we gotta God. take money from the family? I mean, we're gonna get paid later down the road. I mean, you heard them, they don't have that much. And give it to me. Come on, give it to me, I mean, give me the money. Feel bad. That's all. Oh, you feel bad. Oh, you feel bad. You feel. <coughs> you feel bad. Like what? 
Like what, you got punched in the face 16 times? Then you got hit in the arm with a bat and got broken? Like that kind of bat? How about this? How about this, goody two-shoes? Why don't we take your money and all the money we made and give it back to the family? Maybe they could buy a new pool table, huh? Maybe they could buy a dartboard with my face on it because that's what it looks like. Or we could keep it and I could go to the hospital. You don't have to take the money. No, 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 no. I'll take no. Yeah. I'll take So you're in. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yay! You're hired! Congratulations! Hey, can we go to the hospital now, please? I am bleeding inside my eyes. Give it back. Jesus Christ. Oh, I feel Can you throw this in there? Bad. I feel so This? Bad. Are you serious? It's trash. Throw it away. Oh, God. Hey, did you even try to not hit my face? <laughs> This is really country. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a husband and wife. The wife's possessed. This should be easy. Okay, are you sure you're good to go? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I know I look bad, but I'm fine. Just please, man, go easy on me. Come on. Yeah, maybe you should start with the body this time. You didn't last time? Look, when you get possessed, you, you never know what's going to happen, all right? You're very unpredictable, okay? Well, you said hitting the body does no good at all. Have you even tried to start with my body? Have you even tried? Well, no. No? No, exactly. you son of a I, mother. Hey, 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 save it for the game, man. Don't be mad yet. I can't get mad outside of these things, man. I can look, get mad on my look, cards all the time. Look, save it. Save it for inside. Look, I promise, for the sake of you looking really bad right Whose now. Whose fault is that how I, bad I look? I promise that I will go easy on you. Your promises mean nothing to me, Come on, man. I promise. Come on, I promise. I'll go easy on you. I'll start with the body. Come on. Right here. Ooh. Oh, Damn. I felt that. Fuck. Look, you just gotta promise not to get an erection if I choke oh, down. that's not fair. It's a natural human reaction. Sometimes you get an erection. Hello, sir. Evening, brother. Uh, Reverend Mills from the Ebenezer Baptist Church. He, he sent us down here. He was saying you're having some problems with your so life. You be here this morning. I apologize, brother. We got here as fast as we could. We drove in all the way from Texas. May we come in? What the hell happened to Hughes? He just fell down some stairs. I'm a klutz. I heard that one before. Uh, now, first off, you did secure your wife to the bed, correct? Because if, if not, we brought some rope in our bed. Where's the bag? One job. Bang man. Uh, is she is secure? Yeah. I don't know why I had to do that. I mean, she doesn't cause any problems. She just lays there and shakes and screams. It's not like she's hurting anybody. It's for her safety, sir. Yeah, I assure you, brother, it is best for all of us that she is secured to that bed. May we go take a look at her? All of you? Yeah, all of us. Yes, it's going to take all of our power to remove the devil and his unholy demons from that woman. Now, now I assure you, brother, Reverend Mills would not have sent us if he did not believe in the power of the good Lord and the strength that runs through us in his word. Okay. Alright. He seems more weirded out by them than anything else. It's... Oh my. money. I think it's best we give it back to him. You're right, brother. You're right. Normally, yes, you would be, but we really appreciate the gesture. Thank you so much. Speaking of gesture, don't you think it's wrong to be taking money for doing the Lord's work? Well, the Lord works in mysterious ways.
been talking to me in this tone. No, I assure you, brother, we don't mean nothing by it. You three are really starting to get on my nerves. Jesus looked at Yeah, the he's not. He's been, been having a trouble with he them. He saw this a poor is. widow put in two small copper coins. And he said, truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For they all contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. Luke 21. Now, now it is vital that uh, you stay in the Yo, room and you read the dialogue the here is is fairly you, fucking you're gonna, you're gonna hear some is good. Is going good. On over there, but I assure you, brother, your wife has been in safe and sound. So I stay out here. Why all of you go in there? Yes, sir. Ain't no man been in my bedroom with my wife except for me. And, and I, I assure you, brother, as servants of the Lord. Uh, we will do everything to make sure she is safe. Now, Deacon Cabbage Patch here is going to tell you what scripture to read and when to read it. Now, we're going to go do the Lord's work. Why not ever, man? That country time, Airbnb. Hey, man. Spend money in my life. Don't touch my wife, businessman. Yeah. All right, I get it. I get it. You're upset. Uh, cabbage Patch, go tell him to read the scripture. He's gonna have a heart attack back there. Uh, I understand man. you're obviously upset. So yes. why don't we just get this over with as quickly as possible? Thank you. Okay. Go easy on me. Whatever. Get over there. Jerk. I don't know why you married that guy. That was a jerk. <sighs> He reminds me of Danny DeVito. It's played out. It doesn't work. I'll play out your sister. Nothing. Still not angry. Okay. So you guys have tried everything, right? Yeah, I mean, we do this all the time. I got it. I got it. Uh, you even talked about his messed up teeth and everything? What's wrong with my teeth? Well, you know, you got that one pickle tooth thing going on. Are you serious? What about your teeth? I mean, the name of the game is to get you mad. You have bad teeth. That would piss me off if someone pointed out my jacked up teeth. You don't just say that, but we barely <laughs> mention them. You can just tell me there's something wrong with my teeth. How long have y'all been doing this? How many years? I would have figured, like, as long as you guys been working together, the first thing you would have done is picked on his jacked up tooth. You know what? There's nothing wrong with my teeth. It looks like he's got a mouth full of candy corn. I mean, it's oh, awesome. Geez. It's just staring you right in the face. Hello, candy corn teeth. Number one, that's the thing I would have pointed out. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Okay, 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 okay. That's, it, that's okay. it, that's it. Here we go. Here all we go. Right, all right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Look. Look, I talk, talk, too far, too far, too knock, you dog knock. You dog knock, too knock. Look, I too far. Too far, you dog, you dog knock. You dog knock. You dog knock. You dog knock. Do do not if you eat dog do not do not eat not eat dog me not me sip do not. What are you doing to my wife? You didn't want my wife. Oh. Honey, honey, what were you doing, Biggie? What were you doing to you? Okay, I'm here now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you, no, don't wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm here now. I'm not no, playing anymore. Okay. Stop to me. Tell me what they're doing to you. What were they doing to you, honey? What were they doing to you? <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. Now you might want to use the fucking bat. He's actually pretty fucking good.
truth is, nobody knows what happens when we die. And that's why I agree with him when he says that all religions are true in one way or another. It's true. When understood metaphorically. <laughs> but it's when people start taking those metaphors and interpreting them as facts, that's when there's trouble. Look, Cabbage Patch. It's real simple. As long as you're not saying that you're right and I'm wrong, believe what you want to believe, man. I don't care. <sighs> Wait, what was your question again? I just wanted to know if we're going to get Dairy Burger after this. <laughs> yes, of course. Where else would we go? What the hell kind of question is that? We always get Dairy Burger. That, that's all I wanted to know. Wow, man. That's all I wanted to know. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you're sure you're okay to do this? Yes, dude, I'm fine. Bro. I get Cabbage Patch to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. As long as I get a bigger cut, count me in. No, I got it. Bro. Look, man, as long as we don't have the same problem we had last time, I'll be fine. Okay. Before we go in, this is a grandmother who's possessed, so we have to be very, very gentle, okay? And make sure not to upset the family. This is the last thing I want to do. Right. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Oh shit. Alright. That was really good. That was Get the Hell Out um, by Comedia Agogo. Um, if you made it this far, um, uh, please like, subscribe, share, follow, all those things. It helps me out tremendously. Um, and if you enjoyed, I'm, I, I'm, that's my job. So, uh, be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.